So we see in John chapter 10, verse 10, that the thief comes only to steal, kill, and destroy. That's his agenda. But Jesus says, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. I love the Italian translation. It says, sovrabondante. If you've seen enough pasta commercials, you know abondante means abundant. Sovra means above. When we say sovrabondante, it means above and beyond abundant. So the question is, if that's what Jesus came to give, is that the life you're living? If somebody looked at your life right now and followed you around for a week, would they say, that's what sovrabondante means, that's what the abundant life means? Is that the life you're living? Is Christ living that full, abundant life through you? If not, we need to talk. Heavenly Father, again, we thank you for your amazing love. We thank you for the, the honor, the privilege to call you Father. And, and we still wonder and marvel at the fact that you call us your children, that you've adopted us and brought us into your family. The mental or moral strength to adventure, withstand, and persevere in the face of danger, fear, and difficulty. So when we encourage someone, that's what we do, is we impart to them the mental or moral strength to adventure, withstand, persevere, danger, fear, and difficulty. When the writer of the Hebrews knows that his people are in a life and death struggle, that people are trying to, to, uh, to distract them from their devotion to Christ, to move their attention away, their loyalty away, to get them to turn back from their dedication to Christ, their commitment to Christ, he knows this is an eternal life and death battle that his people are in. That's what he's writing about. As we see in the letter, the Apostle Paul is telling us about the importance of prayer and the importance of praying for one another. He also speaks of the importance of loving God first, spending time with God first, and nurturing our life in Him, and receiving our strength from Him. And then we can go out in that strength to love and serve one another. 